Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle. Each week I'll be uploading a 5 minute video explaining as simply as possible the world around us. Today in 5 Minute Geography we're going to be looking at the three things that must happen at the same time to cause a global ice age. If these three things happen we are in for one major ice age. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for a cool fact about glaciers. Earth has experienced a number of periods of extreme cold in its history, when several continents were covered by massive ice sheets. These periods are known as ice ages. The most recent of these ice ages is known as the Great Ice Age, and it began about 2 million years ago, and it only ended about 10,000 years ago. During that period, five major phases of glacial advance have been recognised. Each of these was separated by a warmer period and these periods are known as interglacial. We're in an interglacial period right now. An ice age is a period during which a large part of the earth is covered by massive ice sheets. The ice during this time was an estimated two kilometers thick. Temperatures during this time were so low that ice could not melt and year after year, more and more snow accumulated. As the snow accumulated, it compacted under pressure to create huge ice sheets that we know as glaciers. But what causes an ice age? Well, we know that there are three events that must happen, and these events must happen at the same time in order for an ice age to occur. The first thing is the Earth's orbit must change. We all know that the Earth orbits around the Sun, and the Earth's orbit around the Sun changes to an elliptical shape. As the Earth continues to rotate around the Sun, the Earth is flung further and further away, and as it moves to the further part of the elliptical shape, it is at this point that it is further away from the Sun. And because it's further away from the Sun, it is becoming colder. The Earth's orbit changes every 100,000 years. Earth is angled and is tilted at approximately 23 and a half degrees. The angle of the Earth's axis or the Earth's tilt changes. Areas that are therefore closer to the poles are tilted further from the Sun. And because they're tilted further away from the Sun, they become colder. The Earth's axis or the Earth's tilt changes approximately every 40,000 years. As the Earth is rotating around the Sun, it wobbles much like a spinning top would wobble as it's slowing down. The Earth wobbles on its axis. If it wobbles away from the Sun, it gets colder. As it wobbles away from the Sun, places that are further away from the solar energy will naturally become colder. And the Earth's wobble changes every 25,000 years. When these three basic factors happen at the same time, or when these three factors overlap, this then causes an ice age. The Earth's orbit must change, and it changes every 100,000 years. The Earth's tilt or axis changes every 40,000 years, and the Earth's wobble changes every 25,000 years. When these three things occur at the same time, it sparks an ice age. Ancient glaciers may have once dotted Mars. The red planet's surface is rife with canyons, but did long gone glaciers have anything to do with their creation? Some scientists think so. Last year, their theory got a major boost when a mineral called jarosite was identified along the walls of an enormous canyon on Mars. This image here in front of us looks like a typical glacial valley here on Earth. However, this picture was taken on Mars. A big thank you to Miriam for suggesting this topic. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.